Check. Ha! Oh. There's the cave echo. How are you? I cannot see the chat. I'm going to see if I can make that bigger. I did it. The old control plus worked. Um, I know they say wear clothes and don't let them wear you but i think this top is officially wearing me um but as long as i can't tell if anyone's watching but i didn't get a chance to sound check so i'm just gonna do that real quick It's a really long decay, y'all. Shh. Oh well. I like it. Um, yes, about the top. Uh, I got this for the festival, and it's just like perfect for the vibe of the um, the world I'm building, the futuristic um, back to back to the earth, back to the future. I'm building in my mind. Um, where everything's kind of like handmade. It's also a shout out to Ursula K. Le Guin, the author, because a lot of her books have um, this kind of design on them, like the old versions, which my boyfriend has collected a lot of the older ones. So um, yeah, but it was too hot that day. It was really, really sunny and hot, so I didn't wear it. Also, it kind of it's kind of flappy. So I thought I'd give it a try on the live stream and see how it goes. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> Glad you like the outfit. Yes. It's like, yeah, when I found it, I was like, uh, OMG. Got a little, little cut out. I, you can wear the back in the front too, but I think I like this better. Uh, thank you, Nick. Glad it looks amazing. Thanks for joining me, you guys. It's good to be here. Well, this week I got excited about um, Five Rhythms. I don't know if you know about Five Rhythms Dance, but I love going to these. It's kind of like a workshop, but you don't have to go to an official one. There's five rhythms of, I guess, life or music or transformation. I forget what they are now exactly. I wrote them down. First one is flowing, then there's staccato, then there's chaos, then there's lyrical, and then there's stillness. So I tried to like put all my songs into one of these categories. So I thought maybe today I could try playing one from each of these categories. We can see if we like the flow. Hmm. So for the f first one, For flowing, I picked Dark Forest, Mass Extinction, or Fairy Queen. I think I kind of need to practice Mass Extinction, so I might do that one. But um, let me know if you'd rather hear Dark Forest or Fairy Queen. Those are always good ones, too.
came to know itself and arose from deep waters. Of a long line of babes being birthed through adversity gave rise to the near impossible existence of unity and society, but a mass extinction has brought us to the brink
Oh, thank you, Mickey. Am I saying your name right? Probably there's supposed to be an accent on that. Well, that was fun for me. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, that felt good. I, uh, I feel like the message is starting to shine through the emotions, trying to find those emotions. I read in, um, there's this book called the rock and roll singer survival guide, which is actually really good. I don't identify as rock and roll, but I'm close enough. I'm not like an opera singer. People are like, are you classically trained? I'm like, not especially. I have a couple classical tricks up my sleeve, but um, yeah, I'm probably a little more on the rock and roll side. But anyways, in that book, uh, he said there's two types of musicians. Generally, there's technically good ones. I think like Ariana Grande comes to mind because she's just like her voice is so good and perfect and she can do all the things with it. Um, and then there's like emotional performers who maybe don't have any technique, but they're just like singing raw from their heart and emotions. And maybe their singing voice is more tied to their speaking voice. And maybe they're hurting their voice like I do sometimes. <laughs> but, um, and then he said, of course, many musicians are a blend of that. But he, he noticed, at least at the time when he wrote the book, uh, that the most successful artists are usually one or the other, which I thought was interesting food for thought. I think, yeah, I'm a little more on coming from the emotional side. I like learning technique as I go, especially so I don't hurt myself. But uh, yeah, if I had to pick, I would go with emotional. Um, but it's hard to, to focus on both at the same time. So I'll do my best. Oh, you are my devotees. <laughs> Come to worship at the fictitious guru. <laughs> One time my mom was like, you would make a really good cult leader. Like, you should really think about that. And I was like, thanks, mom. And I was like, right back at you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it would take a certain, um, a certain type of ego to really follow through on that in a dedicated way. But um, yes, I like creating this persona okay or maybe I'm not actually in my mind there's a persona that um, you know empress goddess uh, cult leader you name it um, but yeah music is a safe space for us to act out these things but uh, not take them seriously <laughs> I definitely love like the trickster aspect of spirituality. I think I identify more with the the silly stuff. You could be my little silly devotees. Or devotees? I always hear them say devotees. Okay, so that was what was that again? Flowing? I guess this is an unofficial lesson in <laughs> five rhythms. Flowing is associated with fear, uh, being, and body. Fear. I thought that that song is a little bit um, about fear. So I thought that worked. Um, I'm not sure about the being and the body part, but um, you'll see like the body, each one, so flowing is body, staccato is heart, chaos is mind, lyrical is soul, stillness is spirit. So, yeah, I guess it makes sense in that context. Okay, for staccato, I had quite a few to pick from. I think I'm going to do honeycomb, um, but you could also, if you want me to, you know, if you want running with the wolves, sing a song. Granite Bones or Gaia. I think I thought all those were kind of a little bit on the staccato side. Oh, and staccato. Anger, loving, and heart. And believe it or not, Honeycomb is a little bit angry. 
the the heart and soul of it, the bones of it came from a kind of an angry place. But it's also about love and the heart, so it seems perfect for staccato. Thank you. 
so loud just trying to as always it's a struggle to balance everything but let me see if um, sometimes my squad texts me about the sound but my weather app just wants me to know how my lawn is looking I'm, I don't it's none of your business weather app okay must not be that bad no one's texting me like it's an emergency Okay, I'll take a note of that. I need to look up that song. The things you said. That sounds familiar. I've probably heard it on the radio or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should do more covers. Oh, yeah, I um, I made a page called, it's at anmaramusic.com slash song list. And those are all my songs and covers that I know that I could play. And then under that, I have a couple of other options, like things you could request 
in the future for future live streams that I would have to brush up on. But, um, oh, I just got cold. Hey, there we go. Warm up my little belly. Um, <laughs> maybe I should shut my window. It finally turned into fall. Well, not finally. Kind of came all of a sudden. Um, thank you for clapping. I think that's what you're saying. <laughs> It shows me on Restream, it just says wash hands, wash hands, wash hands, wash hands, which is really, really funny. <laughs> but I know that's not what you mean. You're not like washing your hands after you watched me perform. Mm. Okay. On to the next rhythm. Chaos is the third rhythm. Sadness, knowing, and mind. I think my song Chickadee would be really good for this because it's sad and it's chaotic. But um, I've got Calling You Over. I thought The Awakening was maybe a little chaotic. Um, Ode to a Butterfly? No. Well, it's hard because chaos. There's chaos is the only one that's like, well, I guess staccato can be upbeat. Ca staccato and chaos are the most upbeat ones. So all my, not all my c upbeat songs are angry or sad. But um, I guess they can transition from chaos into the fourth rhythm, which is joy. So I thought Ode to a Butterfly could work for that, or a Trap Door. But, um, yeah, I could do, kind of feel like doing Calling You Over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I hope they're clapping too. All that matters is the intention, which I got. I'm thinking of switching to Twitch or maybe doing YouTube and Twitch, but then if I just pick one, then I could see the emojis. I could see what the hands are really doing.
Sounds like bees a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to hear what that sounded like. I love finding the new sounds. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes, write out your emojis for me. <laughs> I can see the hearts. I can see the fires. Thank you, Nick and Moon Madness. Yeah, I was feeling that one. I felt good. Um, I was like channeling a conversation I had earlier this morning about my boyfriend's dad drank himself to death um, when Maddie was 14 or something like that. And we were talking about it. He was like, you know, I've, I'm hard on myself because I don't want to be weak. And I was like, well, where did that come from? And he, you know, I was like, you know, did you feel like your dad was weak? And he was like, yeah, this is, I don't, oops, I probably shouldn't be sharing all of Maddie's secrets. But, you know, I think it's worth it just having this conversation about, you know, when life throws difficult things at us. I want to say something deep about it, but um, I guess our takeaway was it's good to be strong in order to protect the weaker part of ourselves. I guess having both of those qualities and using them dynamically and and yeah, I never thought of it like the meaning of this song to be like someone who gives up on life is weak. I wouldn't necessarily say that. I think that's more of a judgment coming from a wounded place, but I do think we have to flex our muscles to find our ways to become strong in the face of challenges and rise to meet them. And, you know, sometimes there's biochemical things getting in the way, but that's, that's a challenge we can rise to meet as well. Um, yeah, it's like working out, you know, like those habits are in place that keep us strong. And yeah, I'm still figuring it out for myself because I, I do tend to give up easily on things, I think. And, you know, there is a part of me that just wants to run away from life when it gets hard. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're all still figuring it out. But finding that dynamic balance of strength and tenderness. I don't know. I'm struggling. Maybe you guys can enlighten me what you think. <laughs> Oh, hi, Sid. Oh, my gosh. So nice to see you. See you. I feel like I'm looking at you right now because I, <laughs> I vaguely have an image of you in my mind. Thanks for joining us. So sweet. Yeah, deep thoughts. Trying to have them. I try to have them. Onward to the next rhythm. Um, for those of you uh, new to the stream today, uh, we've been going down through the five rhythms. I've been playing a song that goes with each rhythm. That was chaos. Was that chaos? Yeah, chaos, sadness. There was a little bit of sadness in there, but there's some knowing. There was some like affirmations for the mind. Don't give up. Um, now we're moving on to lyrical. Mm which is joy. Sorry, I uh, just turned myself up. Lyrical is joy, seeing, instead of knowing, loving, or being, which were the other ones. So joy, seeing, and soul. Oh, whoa. Um, I, found, I found a lot of my songs were kind of in between chaos and joy. <laughs> the three to four threshold is where most of my songs are, I think. Um, so that was Ode to a Butterfly, Trapdoor, Children's Children, Such Great Heights, and Opening opening Up might be straddling the next um, rhythm, which is Stillness. But, oh, thank you. I cannot read your name, but that is the coolest looking name I've ever seen. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you for saying it, the comment that says fantastic. That's how I shall name you. Your name is now Fantastic. Because <laughs> you have a fantastic name. Um, great. Well, I feel like playing 
ode to a butterfly, or I, I could do such great heights. Hmm. Maybe I'll do such great heights. That one's new and fun. This is by the Postal Service, not the actual Postal Service.
this song on your machine But the post isn't beat something upon this I frankly will not fly You hear the shrillest highs and lowest lows With the windows down when this is guiding
As you can tell, sometimes I don't know what to do with all my stuff. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you for watching me do my thing. Guess I should be more um, descriptive. I feel like a fizzy drink that just got cracked open and all the bubbles rose. <laughs> if I had to be exact about how I feel when you all watch me sing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's okay. You were late. Um, I read a statistic that most people are like a half hour late to live streams, <laughs> which is not good when I only perform. Sorry, my bangs are like out of control today. <coughs> um, they're always out of control. But, uh, yeah, don't feel bad about that. But, yeah, uh, if I only play for 45 minutes, that's not that's not good. They say you should play for two hours. So uh, I find that challenging because I don't like to stress my voice and my ears that much. But, I mean, there is a lot of talking involved, obviously. So it doesn't have to be, but it's fun to talk on a live stream. I don't know. I would rather play more times per week than longer sets at the moment. Although my set tomorrow in Harrisonburg, Virginia is two hours. So maybe I can convince myself to keep playing a little longer. <sighs> Sorry, I need to like stretch. I feel all uh, crickety. Um, yes, I'm glad you know it's a stool. Somebody was like, is that a sink? <laughs> also, uh, Clockwork Orange is a very cool, memorable movie. I hated watching it. I am not like a violent horror movie kind of person. And yeah, I, d I <laughs> just give me the creeps just to think about it. Um, yes, I... Love sitting in it. Um, I mostly don't sit in it that much. It's really squeaky, so if I do like a Zoom call on it, I'm like squeak, squeak, squeak. Um, can you? Could you hear that? <laughs> so squeaky. Um, yeah, definitely not a sink. Good call. It's totally a stool. Um, Yes, okay, I think we're nearing the end of the five rhythm uh, extravaganza that impromptu happened today. The final uh, rhythm is stillness, which is associated with compassion, healing, and spirit. Okay, I didn't keep my French accent, but I don't want to confuse anyone. Okay, so that was stillness. Compassion, healing, and spirit. Solid. I think that's because in the five rhythms model, you're trying to dance uh, through something, process something, transform. So that's why the final rhythm would be healing and compassion, because those are pretty good states. If I don't, if I don't say so myself, although I just did say so myself. Um, right, so I have to find which songs represent stillness. I do have quite a few that represent stillness uh, in this set specifically. Um, I thought opening up has a little bit of stillness, also some joy. Um, but then Medicine by Daughter, May It Be by Enya, my song Desert Bloom, which is very meditative, and then my instrumental um, called Coming Home to Myself, or it might just be called Home to Myself. I've played that a few times recently. I'm not sure if anyone has a... <laughs> Moon Madness, I'm not sure what your no is about. No! Oh, that it's the last song of the set? <laughs> I didn't, I, it doesn't have to be the last. I just wanted to go through the five rhythms. Um, any votes? 
Medicine, may it be Desert Bloom or an instrumental? I think I'm leaning towards Medicine because I played that the other day and it was nice. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I'm sleepy. I actually got a fabulous night's sleep, but I have a low resting, late resting, late, low resting heart rate. I don't know. My app is uh, keeps telling me I need to work on that. Mm -hmm. Let me find the song. Oh. I wish people, more people knew this cover because it's relatively famous, but it's not super famous. Just matter. 
I was like, I still hear something ringing. Ah, the old string on the keyboard. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I bought uh, another mic stand, but I like to get things used because of the environment and you get to save a little money, but then about half the time there's something wrong with it. So, uh, well, maybe 25% of the time. So the stand came without a couple of important little screws and um, yeah, so I'm still juggling. Um, my goal is to put them side by side so I can sing into them both at the same time when I need to, but I don't know. I just need like a little, a little carafe, like a cup that I can put them in. <laughs> a cup on a stand. That sounds cool. Aw, I'm glad you enjoyed that song. It's very synthetastic. Um, I'm trying to insert a little more playing. I feel like <sighs> with everything that's uh, um, in the in this little box, robot box, it's very much like production elements, which is so cool to be able to have those and just play them. Um, but I still want there to be a strong element of musicianship. But it's also nice to dance. I I got inspired to have most of the song taken care of, but then do little instrumentals. When I saw this musician called Ostra play, I went to a Sufjan Stevens concert in Barcelona as a VIP because I was friends with someone in the band. <laughs> that was probably the coolest thing I've ever done. But um, I still didn't get to meet Sufjan because he's very private introvert. But that's cool. I respect, I respect that. That's where his music comes from. His introspective nature. Um... Lost my train of thought. But yeah, Ostra, she wasn't very, like, charismatic. She was definitely, like, more on the diva side of just, like, here I am, hear me roar. Um, but then she would, like, rock out on her keyboard. It was, like, she was facing this way and the audience was out there. And then her keyboard was, like, here. And then she would come and, like, shred on the piano and then go and sing for most of the song. So I thought that was kind of cool. So... Um, that's my inspo. Oh, I don't know why I'm so yawny. I do not drink caffeine <laughs> because I don't like the crash. I get like a caffeine crash. I'm trying to have, I'm trying to grow up out curly bangs, but it's not working. They're just getting really long. <sighs> it's okay though. Just makes me look like more of a rock star when my hair's in my eyes. <laughs> Come clear the skies before I cross. Is that a song or a lyric? <sighs> it sounds nice. Come clear the skies before I cross. Whew. Sounds like an angel. That's what an angel would do. Well, let's see. That's an hour and 15 minutes, technically. I'm yawning a lot, so maybe that's my sign. I should go take a little load off. Um, or maybe it's a sign that the five rhythms worked because stillness is the final rhythm. I guess it's the lack of rhythm. Um, yes. I'm curious how you felt like that arc. Did we go on a journey? Did we transform? I don't know. Uh, it was definitely nice to take inspiration because sometimes when I make my set list, I'm like, eh, I'll just play them in the order that they're written. Like, um, I should probably put a little more intention into the, the song order, so five rhythms could help me with that. I also like the idea of eventually being able to like convince people to dance to my music and they can do use my music as a five rhythms template. I might have to get like a drummer or something for the the actual dancey part of it. Um Yeah, aw. You have a wonderful weekend, Michael. And everybody else who joined, Nick and Sid and Mickey. Um, yes, you're my my little disciples of sound. Um, this was really fun, and I'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. I don't see why not. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give us all a hug.
be well. I hope my songs bathed you in invisible luminescence and that you are ready to take on another week of magic. With magic? By magic.